Hey y'all, welcome to Pageant Perspectives. Today we're going to be talking about the three things that you need to look for when you're thinking about dedicating yourself to a big system to compete in. Now this is targeted more so for my girls who want to compete in the bigger popular systems. Um, let's see, Earth, Universe, America, those types of systems, but these tips are definitely applicable on the local level as well. All right, so the three things that you need to be thinking about and looking for, cost, commitment, culture. So let's break each of those down. Okay, so cost, the number one, can you afford to compete in this pageant? Typically in the bigger pageants, you're moving up through the ranks. You get your local title, a state title, then your national title and your international title if the system is international. So you have to think about realistically what that looks like for you financially. Um, can you get sponsorships? If you don't get sponsorships, is this something that you can fund on your own? Will you need financial support from friends and family? Do you need to save up for a while so that you um, can afford to compete without going into any sort of debt? It is very important for us as pageant girls to consider this and to compete on the levels that we can afford. Pageantry is not going anywhere. Um, as we've seen in the universe system, there's no longer an age limit. So the title that is for you is our be set aside for you. You just have to make sure that you're going about it in a smart way and one of those ways is financially. Number two, commitment. If you win this dream title, can you realistically commit to being an impactful title holder in the season of life that you are in now and in the seasons of life that you could possibly enter into during your year of reign? Are you open to traveling? Do you plan to be more impactful with virtual appearances? Is recruitment a more realistic definition of commitment to you? How committed are you going to be to being a title holder for this big system that you plan on winning, that you have your eye on? You have to be realistic about that. You have to be upfront about it. And you have to make sure that you know what will be required of you as a title holder beforehand. So you won't be in a position where you win and you have this long list of appearances and commitments and demands that don't fit your life. So make sure that you're finding that out beforehand. And the third and final thing, y'all, culture. Diversity and inclusion aside, what does this system stand for? What do they advocate for? And do they back up their words with actions? And do those actions align with the action that you would take on particular topics of social justice, diversity and inclusion, fairness, kindness, transparency, um, national board to title holder and contestant relationships. In these situations, you have to look at the systems that you're thinking about competing in as organizations that you would volunteer with or donate your money to. Do they pull on your heartstrings in that collaborative way where you want to work with them and you want to represent them? You have to do some deep soul searching to ensure that the pageant system that you're competing in aligns with you morally, ethically, and just in overall values. Because when you decide to compete in this system, you're representing them. And anything that happens in the system, positive or negative, is also going to be attached to you because you have that crown on your head and you have that sash across your chest that has that system's name on it. And people will see you and everything that's happening in the system um, as a pair. So you want to make sure that the system aligns with your views and your morals and your ethics um, in a matter of pop culture and social justice and, and just downright um, humanity and basic common sense. All right, y'all. So I hope these tips were helpful. Again, to recap, things that you need to consider before you decide to dedicate yourself to a system, cost, commitment, and culture.